Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the somewhat common issue you may be having on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer when browsing the internet and it comes across a net error certificate authority invalid error. So typically this would mean that a browser is unable to verify a website's secure sockets layer or otherwise known as SSL certificate. So this can happen if the SSL certificate is issued by a certificate authority that the browser does not trust, or it could be outdated, or you know a variety of different reasons, but those are generally the most common ones if it just doesn't recognize it on the browser. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that. If you're coming across this issue on most web pages, it probably has to do with something with your internet connection. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right click on that, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in NETSH space WINSOCK, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once you have it exactly how you see it on my screen, hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back with successfully reset the WINSOCK catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Once that has finished, go ahead and type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Once you have that, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer at this time. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, we can attempt to reset our network settings back to default. So I will make this point that if you're going to proceed with the following step, you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once you are finished resetting your network settings, upon restarting or rebooting your system, you will need to enter those credentials back in in order to have internet access. So once you have those credentials nearby, we're going to proceed with the next step. And that would entail opening up the search menu and typing in network reset. Best match, should come back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking driver software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches, your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now at this point, close out of here and you want to restart your computer one more time. And now hopefully the net error certificate authority invalid error has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.